Hi, welcome back to the PFO channel. In this video, we're going to be replacing the roof on our greenhouse. When we first built it seven, eight years ago, we put clear corrugated acrylic panels on it. Although they have exceeded the manufacturer's stated lifetime, they're ready for replacement. They became very oxidized in the sun over the years, and uh, they got to the point of being so brittle that we had a hail storm that knocked a lot of holes in it, and uh, they're they're browning up, and they actually look burnt. I'll show you some of the some of the close-ups of what exactly it looks like when the UV gets the best of the acrylic. We're going to be replacing it with clear polycarbonate corrugated panels. Those are supposed to have a much longer lifespan. It's a 20-year warranty, but it says it'll last five times longer than acrylic, so that that would be much beyond the 20 years. But we'll take the 20 years if we can get it. So we hope you enjoy this video. Please like. Subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks a lot. It's so brittle that as soon as I laid that ladder against the edge of it, it just cracked. Let's go up and take a closer look. Yeah, this is just a real mess. It has gotten so brittle, it, it just breaks right off. Actually, it looks like it's been burned. When this first started darkening up, it was only in the places where there was a double layer, or as you can see, where there was a purlin or a rafter behind it. And my first thought was that there was dirt collecting and maybe some algae growing. And when I got up on the ladder and looked, I could see that it was actually oxidizing. And over the next couple of years, once it started doing that, it just started getting worse and worse and accelerating. And you can see that it's pulling right away from the screws and it's splitting and it's curling. Let's see. Yeah, here's some of the, here's an example of one of the hail holes. The hailstone just smacked it busted it right through and that's on the north side which had less sun and you can see it started off with the milky coloration and then it started darkening up but this is at a much lesser stage of oxidation than the, the south facing slope. It has exceeded its life expectation. It didn't start curling like this I think until the sixth or seventh year and uh, so it's it doesn't owe us anything it's just it's beyond its useful life and this is what it looks like when it gets to that point. strange looking piece I had to cut to fit up around all of this stuff. I'm using it for a pattern. I gotta be careful to take this apart and not crack it. Anything that has to drip through this special cut was caught by this other one that was underneath it. And uh, it looks kind of goofy but it has kept the water out for several years now. Nothing's easy on this. You can see this edge I had to trim with a bevel underneath and a scribed cut. That was so that this would lay up against the, the corrugations under the eaves there or where the, the valley comes together. I'll have to probably remake these boards because the stuff I'm putting on the polycarbonate is a square wave instead of the, the uh, rounded wave.
Alright, that's the front side. The back side's going to be less complicated, and because of the angle and the trees, there's not a good camera angle on the back side. So I'm going to not film that part. All right, day two, got to do some more painting and then start putting up the roof, the new stuff. I think I'm all set up to put the roofing on. I've got the trailer over here with the new roof, polycarbonate sheets on it, and I'm going to do the cutting right from the back of the trailer. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully I won't sail away getting them over here to the roof. And up on the roof, I put some blocks underneath the ridge piece to hold that up, so I can slide up, up slide them up under from down here, and then I'll clamp it to a purlin. with this uh, this welder's clamp. Got it taped up so it doesn't mar the top and I can just clamp it to that purlin as I climb up there and uh, get control of it and unclamp it, put it in place. And I have to pre-drill all the holes and then drive in the stainless steel screws. So let's see how this works. A lesson I learned putting up the last one, I used permanent markers to mark cuts and as you would expect those marks were permanent so now I'm using a dry erase marker to, to mark the panels and that ought to wipe right off. These are the hard plastic closure strips for along the bottom edge. They were 
brown, I just spray painted them white so they kind of match. And these are gray, but these are not going to show. These are going to be tucked up under the, the ridge, keep dust and whatever from blowing up the channels and coming in along the ridge beam there. fell right out of the concrete. It hit right on the point, so the point took most of the force of it, rather than some plastic. It works.
Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I've got the roofing lined up with the edge of a piece of plywood and I've got the miter gauge set so that the blade of it is between the plywood and the roofing and it's on my mark. That way I can lay the straight edge over top of that and align it with the blade looking through the polycarbonate and that'll give me my line and then I'll mark it with the dry erase marker and what I do is I, I mark the high where am I at here here we go I mark the, the highs the lows and the slopes if I'm doing a straight cross cut I only do the highs and the lows but it's kind of a strange angle going across this on the on the um, on the saw on such a steep angle so it's easier to, to have some slopes marked too and this dry erase was a great idea I do say so myself because the permanent marker I used last year, not last year, last time when I did the original acrylic, it just made it ugly. You could see it. I don't know if you got up on the roof, which nobody ever did, but I knew it was there. Okay, I need two hands, so this video's over. Didn't get it done today. Got tomorrow to button it up and get it cleaned out and get the party table set. <laughs> <laughs> 